some troll left a comment on one of my uh, videos. It was the solar eclipse video, and basically what they were talking about was how simple it is to see the situation if I had a brain, and that would be to just draw a line from the sun across the moon, and then from the moon, uh, you know, on the other side also, and then I would see that, well, clearly the shadow cast by the moon would be smaller than the moon. So I started looking at that, and let me show you what it looked like to me. Tell me what you think. So look at what he said to draw that would make it so obvious. We have lines that go from the sun across the moon to the earth. Small shadow. The problem with this is they show it on both models, incidentally. They show, it, they show it on the solar and the lunar eclipses. But wouldn't this imply that the light is not parallel? If it's converging like that, that means it would eventually intersect. So let's get this straight. When science wants you to believe one thing, they'll show you intersecting light rays. But when they want you to believe something else they teach, they're only going to show you straight rays like in this one. In uh, the experiment that Eratosthenes did, the light had to be straight for it to work. If it wasn't straight, sundials wouldn't work. But they do, because light travels, it's radiation, it travels in a straight line. But they say, no, it actually converges and it would intersect. But every other scientific explanation about light behavior and discoveries show straight light rays. This is an excellent illustration here. Look at the light. Do they imply any convergence, any light that would eventually intersect? Absolutely not. But they will show you anything that it takes to help you believe what they want you to believe. Well, it would seem that I've stepped on this guy's toes. I don't know, man. I seem to have set him off. You know, I left a what I thought was a pretty innocuous comment on one of his videos, and that was about solar eclipses, right? And you know, he was questioning the size of the shadow cast by the moon on the Earth during a solar eclipse, and I left a pretty innocuous comment saying that if he wanted to, he could use uh, trigonometry and the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the size of the shadow that should be cast by the moon on the earth and I even close the comment with a conditional statement that if you have a sun moon and earth that are the sizes and distances that are widely accepted these are the shadow sizes you get in other words if a then b right so it's not like stepping on his toes it's not saying well you know the earth is round and you're a, you're and you're a dumbass or anything like that it's saying like if a then b that that, okay, under these conditions, if the Earth, Sun, and Moon are the sizes and distances that we're told, then you can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the size of the shadow. That's, that's all I'm saying. And Luke got kind of pissed off, and he says, Well, sounds like you need to go teach those undeniable facts to the kids that believe what they're told without questioning basic contradictions, like the fact that there's no curved water on our planet and that we can see things with our own eyes that violate the trig. Hey, what the hell does water have to do with anything? I'm just talking about triangles, man. You know, flat earthers is just like everyone else come in all shapes and sizes, right? There are, there are the asshats and then there are the ones that you can communicate with and have a cordial dialogue. 
and you never know which camp somebody is in until you until you uh, try to talk to them. Well, apparently Luke is not among those that you want to converse with. He seems kind of on edge. The amusing part of all this is that Luke deletes comments that disagree with him, so you won't find dissenting uh, comments on his videos. However, he doesn't mind spamming his comments on other people's videos, even ones that have nothing to do with him. And he's done that on my videos, but unlike Luke, I don't delete comments that disagree with me. In fact, I think I would rather have comments that disagree with me because a conversation with, with people that you agree with is kind of boring. So, there you go. The question is, which one is a troll?